So I, I actually qualified as an executive coach about 10 years ago um, and I did it because I was very passionate about people. Um, passionate about understanding how teams work, how individuals work, um, because I love diversity and I love the fact that there's lots of different people with different perspectives, but how do you get the best out of that from a business context? Um, so I have a passion around that area and I have to say the coaching and mentoring really has helped me in developing my own personal teams on trying to get them focused on what are their career goals, um, helping them understand what they can benefit from a mentor. You know, um, some people select mentors because um, they're doing the job that they aspire to do. Uh, or it could be that I'm an introvert and I want to get on well in business, but I'm surrounded by extroverts. So maybe finding somebody who's been successful in business that is an introvert that can help you uh, sh or can share with you why they've been successful. So it's trying to make sure that you find the right mentor. Um, and it can also, it can be hit and miss. You know, you might have to try two or three different people before you actually find the right person. Um, but I really think it's critically important, especially for females, because they need role models they need to be able to um, hear about the hurdles that other females have um, had to overcome um, and coaching and mentoring is a real way of getting personal around uh, those challenges and really being able to see a way through them. I've had um, more coaches actually interestingly enough um, and the, the way I differentiate between the two is I've had external coaches to Microsoft um, and it's been a wonderful um, way to, to reflect on me as a person, the whole person, not just the work part, but also the work-life balance and how do you get that, not that anybody ever gets it right, but how do you, you to try and focus on getting a balance in your life. So I found the external coaches have been really good at that because they're not just, um, they don't just have the same experience as you within a company or corporation, whereas I find mentoring um, within the company is really good if you want to understand the network of the company, the culture of the company, how to get on. It's really good to use a mentor coaching on the outside. Um, for me has been a, a real benefit because it hel has helped me get an external perspective. We've, um, we've a very structured mentoring program that has gone on and in fact all senior leaders in the company are encouraged to mentor a number of individuals, high potential individuals across the company. So um, it's, it's something that we believe in as a company that really will help people in their career and give them the support that they need um, as they're progressing their career. We've, we're really passionate about startups in Microsoft and we've been, um, probably because Bill Gates was a startup himself out of his own garage, so um, we've put a programme in place in 2008 called BizSpark, which is around helping new te technology startups to have access to our software for free so that they can actually start using that to develop on that platform. Um, but lately we have a new a program called Ventures and really it is around giving that coaching and mentoring to startups, helping them figure out, you know, you might have a great idea but you may not know how to market it or how to commercialise it. Um, so we've been giving support end to end on the life cycle of a startup, you know, from initial idea right the way through to how they grow and scale their business. Um, and I think that's really, really important. Within the IT industry then in Ireland, uh, we have formed a group called Connecting Women in IT. And that cornerstone of, of pillar of that, Connecting Women in IT, is about mentoring. So across company mentoring, and we have companies like Google, Facebook, um, IBM, uh, Accenture, Ernst & Young, ourselves, Dell, all involved in that network to try and again give people an external expect perspective from your own company to know, you know, the other, other companies are going through similar challenges, other individuals in other companies in their career are going through sil similar challenges and getting the opportunity to do that cross-mentoring has really worked and we've got some very positive feedback from it.